your face. You heard the name Lance, and you're not like expecting to see someone that looks like me. It is okay. I'm used to this. Because growing up, I used to get teased about my name. They used to tell me I had a white name. But little did they know, the name Lance comes from Africa. Yes. You see, what Lance means in Yoruba, Lance means that you can get a drop into you in America. <laughs> That is what this means. It is true. You have two resumes. You have one that says, Ungala, 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 Ungala. And you have Lance Thompson. Who is going to get the interview? Y'all crazy. What's going on, ATL? <laughs> I, I got you. I got everybody. I like using that accent because I like seeing different reactions from different people. You know, when I talk like this to white people, white people are so amazed and curious, especially white women. I'm like, hey, how are you doing today? They be like, oh! <laughs> what tribe are you from, Mandigo? <laughs> <laughs> but it's different when I come up to us. It's different. I'm like, hey, how are you doing today, my brother? They're like, nah, bro, nah. <laughs> I don't need no incense. <laughs> I don't need no oils. And no, I don't need a cab. I'm like, hey, why the fuck I drive a cab, though? But the most hilarious reactions I get are my brothers from Africa. Because I can't fool them. I go to them like, hey, how you doing today, my brother? They're like, no, 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 no. You are not my brother. Why do you talk this way? Oh, my bad, brother. I got so nervous, I started talking regular. I said, my bad, my bad. My bad, brother. Are you and that's my brother. Oh, you know what? You just dropped me off on the street. Let me get the hell out of this can. I'm nervous. Man, I don't need no oils. I don't need no oils. How much is that nag chomper, though? Let me get some of that nag chomper. You know about that nag chomper. <laughs> Beautiful people over here. Any single ladies in the building? Single ladies? Woo, it's okay. It's, right. it's gonna be alright. Hang in there. I know. Big as a slim. It's all good. You just hang in there. But don't jump into a relationship though. You know what I'm saying? Especially down here, you gotta do your research. Don't jump into a relationship. You know what I mean? Say, your brother will fool you. You know what I mean? Brother take you out, wine you and dine you, play with your kids, and you jump into a relationship because you think you found the one. But little did you know, this brother still pees in the bed. I'm just saying, you gotta do your research. You gotta learn how to flip a mattress and look for a pee ring. Before you look for a wedding ring. Come on, somebody. I felt like a preacher when I said it, didn't I? I'm gonna say it again. Before you get into relationships, you need to flip the mattress over. You need to what? Flip the mattress over and look for the pee She's about to catch the whole thing. I like, guess, Lord. Flip the mattress, Lord. I think the brother's pissing, Lord. <laughs> That's not good. But keep it real. How many people, as an adult, had the pee dream and almost peed in the bed? Keep it real. Hmm. All right, got some pisses up front. Got some pisses up. Ah, <laughs> the pee dream feels so real, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's been like you're right in the bathroom. And you got to go real bad too. You just make it to the bathroom. Like, whoo! Whoo! I'm going to speed on myself. And then you wake up and realize that you did. Oh. I'm a grown man. That almost happened to me a couple days ago. I ain't gonna lie, it almost went down. But I'm glad my son still sleeps in the bed with me and my wife. Because if it would have went down, homeboy would have took one for tea. Trust me. I'm gonna roll my baby right in the peace spot. <laughs> I ain't gonna catch me. And then I'm gonna woke my wife. I'm like, baby, wake up. Kwali pee in the bed. He gets you because I'm all wet. I'm peeing. Got me too. The two of my boxes up. 